So I'm pretty sure I just took the Nature's Fury Landslide build to the very next level in Diablo 4 with the brand new Poison Creeper Landslide aspect or legendary aspect in Diablo 4 released today on the patch notes. So we're going to go over everything that you need for the build, how to play it, and why this build is so, so fun. And if you're a Druid main, this is what you need to play at the start of Season 1. You are incredibly fast. You're going to be casting nothing but landslides nonstop, and you're going to be doing massive amounts of damage. So let's get into it. I just put this together. I've been testing it for the last like couple hours, and it's really, really, really satisfying and really, really fun. You're going to be incredibly fast, and you're going to be landsliding nonstop without casting landslide at all. The best part about this build is that it only requires one staff. Okay, so we're back. We fixed the gems, guys. So this build is going to evolve, be a, a combination of our previous landslide build with Stormclaw, and just it's going to be a full-on combination of this. You're going to be really, really fast and just dominating with landslides, and it's actually really, really satisfying to play. You're going to have no cooldowns, no spare costs. You're not worried about all that, and you're going to be spamming all your abilities nonstop. So let's get into the abilities and what you're actually going to need. So first and foremost, let's talk about the brand new Poison Creeper landslide ability. This just released today, and this is exactly how it works. So if I press 3, you're going to see landslide be cast around me as where Poison Creeper is, and then it makes our Earth skills do increased damage. So this is the brand new ability that's going to add to this landslide build, which is going to make it even more powerful, dominating everything. Okay, I can't stress this enough. This build is actually pretty, pretty cool. So uh, we're going Storm Strike into Fierce Storm, uh, Storm Strike to make them all vulnerable. Vulnerability is very important. Then we max out uh, Claw into Wild Claw. The reason that we're able to do this is because of our great staff of the Crone. Claw is now a Storm skill and also casts Storm Strike for um, at 123% normal damage. This is what's going to allow us to double cast Storm skills to be able to reset our Earth skills, which is going to um, give us our cooldown here with the uh, Symbiotic Power. Next, we're coming down. We're taking one point of Heart of the Wild, three points into Wild Impulses for more damage. You max out Landslide into Primal Landslide. Again, you're going to be getting them tear emotes every single time we CC somebody uh, with Stun or Immobilize, which is what we're going to be getting from our Poison Creeper and Petrify. And then we do Instant Crits when we do damage with that. We're maxing out Predatory Instinct as well as two points in Iron Fur for a little bit of defense. Then we're coming down for um, Earth and Bulwark into Preserving Earth and Bulwark for more Fortify. However, um, you can really just pass on this because you're going to be trampling so much, you're going to get the Fortify from there. And you could do Innate Earth and Bulwark if you want to have a little bit more damage. Uh, I've tested it both ways. I think for the higher ones, you want to have uh, Fortify so that way you can uh, maintain some of our Glyphs to do more damage. But Innate is actually really, really good. So I'll showcase both. We'll start with Innate. Then one point into Ancestral Fortitude, two individuals for more defense. Uh, one point into Poison Creeper, we got four from our chest piece, or excuse me, our helm. Into Brutal Poison Creeper for more crit chance. Uh, you could argue the Ferocious. If you wanted to, both are good. I just like this as a in-between uh, casting tramples. Uh, then we're going to come down to our Rascals. One point in Crushing Earth, one point in Safeguard, three points in Stone Guard for all of our Fortify. One point in Trample into Natural Trample, which is going to give us Fortify. One point in Neurotoxin. Three points in Venom, guys. Even though it says 30% bonus crit strike damage against vulnerable enemies, I really feel like this was pseudo-nerfed or shadow-nerfed. It feels weird, but it still works. Coming down to our ultimate skills, we're taking Petrify into Prime Petrify to uh, have its duration increased by a second. Then three points into Resonance, one point in Natural Disaster, and one point in Defiance, but my Amulet is giving me three, so that's why I have four. One point into Quick Shift, two points into Heightened Senses for even more damage reduction. We got a lot of damage reduction around here on top of being fortified. And then, of course, our key passive is going to be Nature's Fury. So, this is how the build works. This has got buffed in the patch notes. It used to be 20%, now it's 30%. So, every time you cast an Earth skill, you have a 30% chance to trigger a free Storm skill. In addition, casting a Storm skill has a 30% chance to trigger a free Earth skill. So this is roughly about a 45% chance because when we cast Claw or use Claw, it's also a Storm skill and we're hitting with two skills at one time. So it gives us a, a chance to trigger our resets on these very, very frequently. We have huge attack speed. So we're gonna be able to do this nonstop. Okay, 
So into our spirit boons, guys, we're going to be going with on the deer. Awareness for just damage reduction. Uh, the deer, we're taking two boons. We're taking scythe talons. And then we are also taking avian wrath. However, an argument actually could be made for to drop this and do swooping uh, attacks, which actually would be really, really good. Or you could do the 14% max life. Either one of those is actually pretty solid. In our wolf, we're taking pack leader. Crit strikes have a chance to reset the cooldown of our companion skill. We only have one. And when we cast Poison Creeper actively, we get another landslide. Uh, then down into our snake one, we are doing Misogynistic, which is going to give us uh, health. This is our really our only form of sustain here on uh, shape-shifting skills. So this is really, really good. So I'm going to take off the crit chance and actually do this. However, the crit chance is very important here. But swooping attack seems to be really, really good. Now, let's showcase the build real quick, and then we can get into the gear and just kind of how this breaks down. So the whole build works like this. You can either bulwark and then trample in, or you trample in and then bulwark. You're going to cast Poison Creeper. I typically save Petrify for large groups or bosses. Otherwise, all you're going to be doing is swinging with Claw, and then these are going to reset really, really fast, and we're just going to spam them nonstop. This really does work in a lot of big mobs here. Just pop everything. Right, stuff resets. And then we're moving along. We are very, very fast. Poison everything. Make sure you're swinging. Everything gets reset. Poison everything. It's so cool. I do want to make one note here, and maybe they'll fix it at some point. But the Poison Creeper does not immobilize and trigger... Uh, against the enemies that you have already done this on. So if you've already immobilized a stack of monsters, it's not going to re-immobilize them if they're already immobilized, meaning you're not going to get the additional Terra Motes when you do use that ability. That is something to keep in mind that I've noticed from the testing, which is just really, really strange, but it still works. It still works all the same. So you can see landslides are just absolutely everywhere. I wanted to showcase this build just a little bit. We're going to show you how it works on the boss in just a minute, but let's go over the gear pieces and everything that you need. So again, there is some actual swaps that you could make into this build, and I'll talk about those as we go along. So I have Symbiotic in the Helm, which is going to give me uh, When Nature's Fury key passive triggers, a free skill, your non-ultimate cooldowns get the cooldown reduction, this was nerfed from 8 seconds at the max to 5. But either way, this is what's going to help us reset our skills. Then we have Ballistic on here for when we're fortified, which is always going to happen. Our Earth skills are going to gain 2 ranks to do more damage. Uh, retaliation on our gloves. While we're fortified, we do increase damage. Disobedience on our pants. Even though we got nerfed, it's still really, really good. Uh, you could swap that out for something else. Ghost Walker on our pants. This is another one that makes us incredibly fast. We're always going to be in Unstoppable from Trample and Earth and Bulwark. So this is always going to be on here. Then, of course, Great Staff of the Crone. In our Amulet, we're going with Trampled Earth. This is what allows our Trample to summon our six landslides and do increased damage. But more importantly, makes Trample a Nature, Magic, and Earth skill. Then, of course, we have Landslide Pillars trigger a second time, dealing increased damage. And then we have the brand new subterranean skill in here with Poison Creepers active. Also cast Landslide in a circle around you. Earth skills deal increased damage to poison enemies. So not only are we getting the trigger of Landslide, but they're going to be poisoned from Creepers. So they do increase damage. I actually have a max roll of one on here. I just have not put it on the ring because all I've been doing is testing. So I kind of want to wait. This ring is pretty good, but... I still want to wait uh, on it, but the testing even at 11% over 20% is still very, very strong. So that is the build, guys. Let's go into the Paragon board and talk about all uh, my choices here. Now, a lot of this is going to be based off of the previous board in combination with other boards. Uh, just from what I've seen, it was really, really weird to kind of mix up, and I'm still fine-tuning this. So bear with me. This may change over time, so in the future for a build link that uh, I'll post for you guys. This may change, so just make sure to keep up with the link. So on our first board, we're taking Exploit with Prime and uh, Impel. On our second board, we're taking Heightened Malice with Territorial here. I really like this. We're going to be up close and personal all the time, so this is really good on top of the damage reduction. 
We're taking natu or Nature Born for damage reduction against poison, and then st uh, Sinking Fanes for more damage against poison enemies. Every enemy is going to be poisoned non-stop. Next, we're going into our uh, Survival Instincts board, which we will take in wear bear form to deal additional damage. Uh, for every 1% difference in life, we're taking Bulwark for Fortify and damage reduction. We have a Battle Worn Hide for more armor while we're in wear bear form. Grizzly for more damage in wear bear form. The Glyph that we're taking is Undaunted for more damage while we're fortified and damage reduction. Then we're coming all the way down here and grabbing Zealous for more damage while we're healthy. We should always be healthy the majority of the time in this build. Next over here on this board, we're taking the Earth and Devastation board, and we're going to be taking Guzzler. This is a huge, huge damage increase, so make sure to take it. In our fourth or fifth board, I should say, or fourth board, we are going to be taking Constricting Tendrils. Now, I have changed this and kind of tested this. I know a lot of people are going to give me some flack in the comments. It's on a lucky hit and then a chance to spawn our vines, which does it. But I have found that I am resetting the poison creeper vine so much that I don't actually need this. And it allowed me to come down and put the extra points in here to deal more damage while I'm healthy, which is going to be the majority of the case. So I opted out of that, but we're taking that board and we're going to be taking spirit for more crit strike damage because we're always going to be critting. We have nature's will for more nature skill damage, which is our earth skills. Then we have courage for more um, max life and willpower. I really want to get this to double up again, but uh, we just couldn't with how the points are. Devastation for na more nature uh, magic uh, skill damage as well as damage to elites. And then we're coming down to our last board, which is going to be ancestral guidance. And we're grabbing harmony for more core skill damage. Our glyph of choice is going to be earth and sky for more core skill damage and um, damage against crowd control and vulnerable. And then we're taking resolve for more um, resistances. However, oop, however, you don't actually need this if you really don't want it. But we do get the access to the dexterity glyphs instead. And then we're going to double back dip on our height and malice board from the top. So that way it's a short stretch. And we're going to be taking height and malice. So while there's three or more poison enemies around, which in mobs is always going to be the case because we're always going to be casting poison creeper. We're going to get that 45% per in 45 increased times damage. All right, let's go face the boss on a Nightmare Dungeon Tier 53. We absolutely slapped through this, so this build is pretty solid. I think once I optimize the Paragon board a little bit better, then this build will just be even that much stronger. So we'll see. We'll see. Where are you going? We need rat. We need to rack up Terra emotes. Poison damage almost killed me. Get some, dude. Okay, not too bad. It was not too bad against the boss. Okay, guys, so that is the build, the trample slide with nature's fury. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I think that once I optimize a few more things, especially in the Paragon board, that this build is going to absolutely slap. And it's a really, really fun build. You're so fast casting nonstop landslides. So play around with this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.